today some quick Satori tips on how to ensure a perfect print every single time on your print design projects. The first graphic design tip in regard to print design is about the use of black, which is absolutely crucial for you to learn and to implement into your workflow. So there's more than one way to create black in graphic design. Color variations of black can be very difficult to detect on screen, but when we're talking about black in print design, rich blacks have a deep tone that pops from the page, while regular blacks can appear flat. Now this standard black is printed strictly with the black toner or the K cartridge. Rich black, however, combines K with the other CM and Y colors. This layering provides richness and a depth to the color. Now I personally like to use the CMYK values of 50, 40, 40, 100 for my rich black. You should be using rich black for large areas of black on your design and also large uses of typography such as headings. Standard black needs to be used on body text. This is because rich black can create kind of a loss of crispness on smaller fonts and detail. There is a very specific technique and a trick when printing out huge designs such as billboards. I'm going to show you that now as part of the second graphic design tip today. So firstly, we need to realize that billboards do not need a super high resolution. Often we set a print design project at a resolution of 300 ppi but that is if it's A3 in size or smaller. A billboard that is say for example, six meters in width and two meters in height only needs a resolution of around 20 PPI. This is because when you view a billboard, you're not actually standing up close to it as you would need for a design. You'd be seeing it from very far away and so the pixels don't have to be so tightly packed together. Now this is the first tip for large designs, but more importantly, how do you set up a six meter document without slowing your device down. Sometimes Adobe software would not even be able to offer a document large enough. So again, let's take this six meter by two meter design as an example. What I would do is I would design it at 150 centimeters by 50 centimeters, which is a quarter of the size, and then set the PPI to 80, which is four times the amount of the final output. So in effect, you scale down the size by a quarter, and then you ramp up the resolution by four times. You send this to the printer and then they will scale it up once you've sent the file. But of course you need to let the printer and the client know what you're doing beforehand. This next graphic design tip is something that you need to make absolute standard in your workflow. When you finish a print design project, go through every single part of the design and proof it. Look for typos, look for objects that are in the wrong places and look for objects that shouldn't be there at all. This is the first tip for proofing. And the second one is to send the print design to the printer and ask to create one proof print copy. You do this so you don't end up printing out 500 copies only to realize that certain colors print out horribly or there is actually in fact a typo that slipped through the net somehow. So my graphic design tip here is that perfect print design needs perfect proofing. Now printers have different requirements for formats and it is best to call them beforehand and ask what preset or format they prefer and they require. But PDF is the industry standard when it comes to printing. There are specific presets within the PDF file formats that relate to compression, fonts, color management and color conversion, transparency, flattening and so forth. Each preset is preferred for certain kinds of printing jobs and so as I just mentioned please make sure to contact the printer and ask them what they prefer for the print project. The next graphic design tip in today's video on print design is to make sure that your fonts are embedded. So when you're designing something with typography and you use a font like say Arial, there's a very high chance that the computer the printer uses will have that font too, because it's a pretty common font. But if you choose to use a less common font however, probably not going to be recognized on the computer. But luckily there's an easy way to embed fonts when exporting a PDF and just make sure that you can see this message here on your screen. Now this is obvious to most, but I have to add it in today because there's going to be some designers out there who are unclear about this or they simply do not know about it. And that is to use bleeds. 
The bleed is the area around the print document that is going to be cut away and discarded after the print process has been completed. This is done to ensure that no unprinted edges occur in the final trim document. It is actually very difficult to print exactly to the edge of a sheet of paper, and so to achieve this, it is necessary to print a slightly larger area than needed and then to trim out the excess afterwards. Setting up a bleed is really easily done in Illustrator and in Design. This is when you make the new document. And for something smaller than A4 or A3, 5mm is fine. And then exporting a PDF would allow you to use those bleed settings on the final print product. Just make sure to allow your design to bleed over the edge. So there are 6 tips on how to make a perfect print design every single time. Resolution is obviously vital too, which I didn't go into too much detail in today's video, but I can in a different upload in the future. If you enjoyed today's video, of course like and share my content on social media, and subscribe to Satori Graphics if you haven't done already. Have a great day everybody, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.